in the comments of a couple of my previous builds, some uh, said, hey, you should make an M4 pistol style or kind of an M4A1 with a stock delete. And, uh, you know, one of my longtime supporters suggested that. So I like to try to, to do what you guys ask if I feel it's within my capabilities and I agree with it. And I thought, hey, that's a cool idea. So that's what I did here. So it's an M4A1. I've shown you kind of the build process. Now we got it all done Went with the slate gray. And then this is considered a pure gray, but it's definitely off-white uh, to me. And just went ahead and kind of made it as short as possible. Put this new, you know, barrel on here. And then we've got that uh, orange tip that's actually recessed all the way in. And this one is not threaded. Uh, that's just made to be permanent. This style, keep it nice and short. That was an easier route to go with this one. And that's kind of just what I wanted to do with this one anyway. So... Got the battery up here. I went ahead and I did a nice kind of solution to be able to have the plug, the auxiliary plug, plug in for the battery. And then the battery stays in this box. And it does fit an 11.1 in there. Uh, if you get those smaller silver and black, the inexpensive ones, they do fit. Uh, you can see went with, since I do have a rail up here, went with a laser, kind of laser flashlight combo. Right, because I thought that was just nice, but I didn't want to go with too many other optics or anything. I kind of wanted to keep it pretty streamlined. Streamlined. So back here where I did the stock delete, just went ahead and put my little logo over where the hole would be. The charge handles just cut off and glued there to fill that spot because obviously this wiring and everything would be in the way of the charging handle, and it doesn't do anything on this anyway. It just really is for looks. So. Other than that, just painted it out nicely, and then I've shot it. Now, um, if you watch the demo, for some reason, it doesn't always make sense. This one actually went down in FPS, and it was only staying at about 150. I really have no idea why. Um, I mean, this is such a short barrel. There really should not be any sort of bend in it. I even made the barrel come all the way, like almost to the end of the orange tip which typically helps with any type of movement or hitting the sides of the, um, you know, of that like fake suppressor on the way out. So I'm not really sure. I'll mess around with a little bit, but if, if I can't figure it out, if it just stays around that 150 to 200 range, that's kind of where it was. Um, then the only good thing is then I'm comfortable giving it away as a prize because if it stays under 200 FPS, then I feel like it's safe to give away as a prize since I can't validate anyone's age or anything. Um, and that way I feel like, you know, hey, if, if it's not over 200 FPS, then it's not too strong. Really, anyone could have it. So maybe that's something that'll happen with this one. Um, we will see. I'll mess around with it a little bit, but I don't really want to take it all apart again, at least not right now. That's kind of what happens with these. Once I build them, I'm like, oh, I finally got this done and I really like how it looks. And then if it doesn't perform well, it is a little disappointing, but I'm not really excited to like tear it apart and try to figure it out. I usually go back to it later. So in a perfect world, they work out just fine. And sometimes that happens with them, but I'd probably say 50-50 when I'm messing with barrels, especially and inner barrels, something is off slightly and it just really slows it down. Um, so you know, that kind of stuff happens. Again, I like to be upfront with all of you guys and tell you guys all that. So if you're modding yours and you run into these mistakes, just know that even someone like me who's been doing this for a while now, and I'd say I definitely wouldn't call myself an expert at, at any of this, but I definitely know what I'm doing and I feel like I can do a good job at it. And you still run into those just weird things. So anyway, comments, questions, let me know what you guys think. Do you like the looks of it? I think it looks really cool. Pretty happy with it. Still not sure about this off-white gray color, um, but I like that type of paint, that ultra matte finish paint. So that's kind of why I went with it too. So anyway, please like, smash the subscribe button, share my channel with your friends, and of course, participate in all those monthly giveaways. Thanks for the support.